What's up nerds, Winstreak here. Today we are going to be looking at HP bars. Specifically, we are going to be looking at HP bars for each, for all of our different enemies. So if you're looking at this right here and you see this one HP bar going down and you are super excited to learn how to do this, you are in the wrong video. We want all of our different enemies to have their own HP bars attached to their own life and they will go down separately. So I won't be going too far into how to actually make this HP bar run. Um, I will just be going through how to make one for each individual enemy here. So without further ado, we'll hop into the code. And we're gonna be focused on mainly three different things. We're gonna be looking at for each first. And this is just your way to go through each one of your slimes or whatever one we're gonna be using. We're gonna be talking about slimes mostly. So for each, we'll essentially just grab your lowest UID first and then go through each one, one at a time and we use this to set the health of our slimes. I'm gonna go ahead and pull our debug up here. And if I drop down to my slimes, we can go to my zero slime and we see its life is 2,184. And then we hop to a smaller one, 126, 82. So each one of my slimes has a different current health as well as max health. And you can see when I hit him for 50, he lives, but if I hit this back one here who's really small for 50, they die. And all I do is set a health based on the width times height of each of my slimes. And that simply makes my smaller ones have less life. So that makes my king one actually seem like a boss, whereas the little ones are little weaklings. So that is how we set the health of each of ours. We can also do it on created if we're doing this dynamically. So if we are adding slimes mid game through the event sheet here, at the time that we create a new slime, that's when we'd set the health. And that'll automatically go through for each because you are calling an individual slime each time you do a creation of a slime. Next, we're gonna be taking a look at the UID system I created. This is super simple, just two variables. And I throw one on both my health container and the health bar and we'll scroll up here. You can see that my container holds the bar and as this shrinks and grows, that's what makes it look like they are losing life. And each of these have a variable and it holds the UID and that's just a matcher for each slime. So, so when I create a slime, I also create these two health bar units and at the same time, I will set the UID of whatever slime I am working with. So this one would be seven to both those instance variables. That way later on I can say UID slime 7 took damage, find tiny health bar that holds slime UID 7 and reduce that damage. And that is how you link each individual slime's health with a different health bar. And you can see that down here. So for each slime, which just means I'm going to walk through each slime individually, grab the tiny health bar with the same UID and set the width to our equation to find the percentage of the health it has left and times it by the total width of our health bar size. Since I'm already in a for each here for each slime, I'm also checking to see if they're damaged. And this is how we hide and show the health bars. So when I run this, at first you don't see anything and then I hit them and it pops up. I just have them initially set to invisible. Anytime any one of my slimes has less health than max, this is where I set them to visible. And anytime they have zero or less health, they will destroy. And this is just my cleanup process. You can also do this with containers. So if you set each slime to have a container of these health products on the destruction of the slime, they can get destroyed as well. But this is just a route I'm more comfortable with. So I just do my own cleanup here. And this just makes sure I don't have a bunch of health bars that last. So let's go ahead and toggle this off real quick. But here we can see when I destroy the slimes, the health bars just float there. And not only is that visually annoying, that will stay there forever and continue to add up to the count of total sprites I have and steal some of my memory. So we want to clean those up. And the last thing we'll briefly touch how we are hurting the slimes. This is just a simple collision. I have a single type of damage and it's just a fireball. If that hits my slimes while they're not already playing hurt, it will set them to hurt and deal the damage. I can't hit them more than once even though I have a bunch of fireballs going. You see it only ticks down once every time the hurt animation finishes. Since 
on collision picks a specific slime already and subtracts the health, it's not going to remove that health from all the slimes. It's just going to be the one that is currently colliding with our fireball and also allowing multiple to be collided with at once. As you can see here, I hit both him and the tiny one there. And that pretty much does it. Of course, as always, I will throw this up on itch.io so you can check out the code. And if you have any questions, throw them down below. Otherwise, peace.